the John Hopkins University under its third program is piloting the initiative joint with the Private Sector Foundation Uganda. In an exclusive interview with NBS Television, Romano Fernandez, the Senior Technical Advisor at John Hopkins University, explains the fund. Considering that there are inadequate resources to address health issues in this country, uh, we thought of this novel concept and we partnered with Private Sector Foundation Uganda, which is the arm of the private sector in, in Uganda. And the whole idea of this Private Sector Health Common Fund is to generate resources through the private sector, individuals, entrepreneurs, uh, corporate organizations and private foundations. Government is already supporting the fund through the means of health and according to Romano, local governments can contribute to the fund that seeks to address, among others, what would be a health insurance scheme for communities. But this clearly is not a health insurance scheme, or so is it. We are just complementing those efforts. So if it comes to, say, local government, local government works directly under the Ministry of Health. So. We are not taking over that role, and uh, if they are to contribute, then they will be contributing through the ministry. And why the private sector? Private Sector Foundation Uganda is going to be the fund manager, always the fund manager. Basically, this is the secretariat for this private sector health common fund. And uh, over the last 16 years, Private Sector Foundation Uganda has built a reputation of managing funds in a, a very prudent way. And this means that we look into accountability, transparency. The two-month old initiative requires more support from the private sector, but this is taking pretty long, as corporate companies require more time to understand and appreciate the health fund, perhaps before they support it, but so far, so good. ESFU stands out as an institution which is recognized and well-known for managing funds, so there is no mismanagement of funds in this institution because we have a very prudent system of ensuring that these funds are accounted for. We give quarterly reports to all the partners who have contributed to this fund. Key among the top priorities is addressing critical needs in reproductive health, especially the maternal health challenges, fighting malaria among pregnant mothers, and the epidemics. In our next series, we bring you more on how the Health Fund Initiative has been perceived. Simon Muyangarutaya and Remy Bahati, NBS Television.